All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to a clip of Candace Owen putting a liberal in their place. So we'll be back, man. Sketch Pad, you know what it is. All right, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, thumbs up button, hit everything. You know what I'm saying? All thumbs up, everything good. If you want to donate, links in the screen, links on the screen, links in the description, all that good stuff. If you want to be notified, hit that notification bell, sketch pad to come across your top of your screen on your phone. We drop new episodes all the time, and we also drop, do we do uh, uh, lives on Fridays. So, hey, let's get to it, man. And it's on. What are we going to be seeing the next couple of days here in D.C.? You know, we had received so much interest over a period of time in this sort of youth black conservative movement. It felt like we really wanted to harness the power and the opportunity um, and invite everyone to D.C. First and foremost, to bring them to conservative ideas. A major hurdle that the black community faces is not having the resources to get to different ideas and sort of being locked inside of a bubble. Um, and having them listen to speakers that they perhaps haven't heard before, Dr. Ben Carson, Larry Elder, people who are routinely mocked in our community. Um, so this is the first ever opportunity to do that in D.C. And we're really excited that it's happening this weekend. In the past, the conversation was almost so intellectual that it was hard for people to digest and process and to understand. And because the left had won the culture war, it was easy for them to mock them, you know, to see a skit where perhaps Dr. Ben Carson or Dr. Condoleezza Rice are being mocked. Um, and I think I'm a little more of a fighter, um, definitely in terms of starting my, my channel on YouTube and wanting it to be colloquial and wanting it to feel familiar like you were talking to your brother and sister and sort of taking back some of the turf that was lost on the culture war by making fun of people on the left in the same way that they make fun of us. I think that that sort of helped bridge the gap and make people more interested in having the discussion. Does it bother you that there's no prominent African Americans in the White House? We have to stop believing in the solution that because somebody is black, they represent my interests. Mm -hmm. um, we learned that lesson via Barack Obama. I mean, he was in the, in the White House for eight years and didn't do much for the black community. So I'm not interested in the color of people's skin. So I'm interested in... So you see how, you see how off the off the rip, she hit her with a a, a question to try to beat her. Mm -hmm. Does it bother you to not have no prominent black people in the White House? So what are you trying to say? Why do they have to be prominent? Why can't it just be black people in the White House? Like, I'm gonna get into it after this. Let's go. What they do yeah. and what they so accomplish. I'm, I'm really interested in your perspective here. Yeah. So to you having, like you don't look at, you know, it is, it is an administration that has more white men than past administrations have had. Yeah, and but that doesn't, that doesn't bother you. You don't think that diversity no, is no, important? No, not at all. I, I, I think that we have to stop believing that diversity is the color of people's skin because if you have like the Black Caucus, for example, which didn't stand up and applaud when uh, Trump announced that we had the lowest ever unemployment in the black community, that's concerning to me. So a big part of the conversation that we open is in making people understand that that's an illusion that the left has sold, that somehow because somebody matches my skin color, because somebody matches my gender, they have my best interests at a tweet you originally said you thought there was zero chance conservatives sent bombs. I think you took that tweet down. Yeah. But you, but you later added, it isn't conservatives that are chasing people down in offices and restaurants. It isn't conservatives that have weaponized sexual assault as a means to political gain. I stand by my opinion that when it comes to political violence, the left is the likely culprit. That's correct. So we and we've seen that. I so mean, you you think that it was look a, the it, left or Democrats who sent well, these Well, I think pipelines? look, I, I think we're all entitled to have an opinion. We don't have any facts surrounding this, and Twitter is a venue where you're allowed to express your opinions and beliefs. And but certainly, just to be clear, so that's I, not based on any facts. That's uh, just of course your it couldn't belief. possibly be based on facts. We don't have any any evidence other than the fact that they're investigating it. But yeah, I'll come uh, to Candace's uh, to I, I, Yeah, I, I do want to finish here. this by just saying that. Um, um, it is my belief, when you take, take a look at the conversation, the things that have gone on and the increasing violence that's gone on, it has purely been a leftist t tactic to stall things, delay the administration, and to fear monger. So um, as a matter of opinion, I do believe that when we get to the resolution at the bottom of this and we do have facts, we're going to see that this is orchestrated by the I mean, left, but I by can, no means could, is that opinion rooted in any proof because yeah. we don't have anything yet I mean, to go I, off I could of. point. I could certainly point to Charlottesville. I could point to other acts that happen. I could point to Dylan Roof. I mean, there's certainly acts of violence. 
Charlotte House that have come on that. But that's do you see how he, far back you have to go to do that? Ago. Charlottesville? The, yeah, yeah. That was, that's literally starting at the, bit, at the beginning of his administration. But, Look at listen, all I, of the but things that's that have actually gone not, on. I don't, I don't want to have this debate because ugliness can come from both no, sides. No, I'm just saying that you brought but it up. But I do, so do want to ask you, though. I certainly am just answering the question. I mean, you've, you've got a big platform. I do. Right? And you have a powerful voice. Thank you. And kudos to you for creating that. Thank you. How do you view the responsibility that comes with that? I view the responsibility of just being a person that maintains my um, ability to have an opinion, that I express an opinion, and no means that I say that I have just found the facts and this is related. Yeah. Um, and I always you reserve the right. You said there's zero percent chance. Yeah. I said I'm going to go out and bombs. say that there is a zero percent chance that this was sent by conservatives. I find all of these, all the things that are going on, the caravan of illegals, the packages that are being sent, and you, Brett you Kavanaugh's think the confirmation. And, and just to clarify, you think the caravan too was organized by Democrats? I find it Democrats. to be incredibly suspicious timing to know that they are meant to, to get to the border um, at you know on the day of the election. Again, this is not rude in fact. So when she talk about the caravan and she's saying that the caravan of illegals. They were like, I don't understand. See, the mainstream media plays off of people's feelings and emotions, and they always do this. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris was literally telling people to come to the border. Literally. They had a whole hearing where AOC was saying illegal asylees basically can come to the border. Like they're seeking, they're seeking asylum. That's what she was saying. This is crazy how people like this chick really knows that they did this. And she's just saying this just to, I don't know, man, let's just keep it going. But you do have to understand, I am very much entitled to my opinion, and Twitter is my sure. platform. Candace, I have one, one, I have, one, I have, I have one more. Just one more, uh, just one more here, because I, I, I did. I, I wanted to get to know you before you came on. Yeah. I'm really interested in your perspective, For because sure. I think you're a fascinating There person. was another tweet that said, the Democratic Party is comprised of racist white liberals. That is correct. Am I a racist white liberal? Well, let's go back. Um, and, and, and let's say, I will say this, that many people in the party don't, are not aware of their own racism. Let's go back to an early part of this conversation where you said to me, are you concerned about the color in the White House? Um, why, why would you ask me that question? Because you speak about black issues. No, but, but, but why would you, why would you ask me that? But let's it. get to really the nucleus of this. Why did you ask me that question today? Because I'm Why did you feel that I needed to be concerned about that? Because you, you're bringing a whole group of young African-American okay. leaders to the White okay. House. Okay, so this is something that I talk about often, is that in many ways, <laughs> what liberals don't realize that you, you put on that, the racism and the, the conversations that so we you're, have So you're are, saying I'm a racist. You haven't let me finish my statement. You keep okay. cutting me off. Go ahead. Okay? The emphasis that you place is always on having a discussion about race. Okay? You guys are insistent on having a conversation about race and telling us that we should see and implying that we should see race everywhere, and I don't agree with that. If you don't look at me according to the color of my skin, you would simply ask me how I thought that Trump was doing as a president. But instead, you try to drum up a conversation that's surrounded by race but by it, asking me, "Are there enough black people in the White House?" You're bringing a whole group of young black leaders you to the White see House. You color, so I don't. That's something that's important to you. But why are you talking but about? Then why is it, why why make it a that you're going to bring young black leaders to the White House? I mean, this is because sort of absurd. Because, because the media, as in the this whole, is absurd. this is absurd. You're bringing this group to the White it's, House. It's not absurd. I'm making so, perfect so, sense. I just want to be. I just want to be clear. Yeah. I just want to be clear. I'm trying to be extremely clear with you. I know. I know. Bringing the black conservatives to the White House. As a racist white, I think liberal. that you're not. A, first off, you put those words in my mouth, and you keep saying you it. So I'm not. It. I, I said that the Democrat Party is comprised of racist white liberals. Are, are, is every person in the party racist? No, but you're not aware of the fact that you put these racist tones out into the media. This is why we have to bring the black conservatives to the president because you create a narrative when you're on TV like you did today. Do you are you that, comfortable okay, with I'm, the I'm fact? I'm going to have you on radio later because I have questions for you. I have questions you for you as well. But we actually have to get out of the segment do you think now. That we, we, that it language is, is helpful, though. I mean, just in terms I think of that the national. I, well, I could ask I, you, do you think I it's have, helpful to ask me just because I'm a black woman if I'm comfortable with the amount of color that's on the administration? Do you think that that's helpful? I think it's helpful and interesting to it's know not, your perspective. It's not. It's you just trying to create I'm interested an in undertone that Donald You're Trump bringing, is racist and no, it's wrong. No, no. Yeah. Okay. But listen, to me, is the reason why. Listen, no, 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 no. We actually, I just want to say. I just want to say. I just want to say. You're looking at me on the basis of my skin color and making a bunch of, you know, and making a bunch of deductions. I did not. You said that. And we can run the tape back. I, I want to say, look, that. here's what I want to say. You quoted a tweet and then you made it about I you. I appreciate so. 
you were not added, Democrat. but you were not added in that tweet. So do not say I'm that I called you that because that's you dishonest. And we are on, and we are, and we are on TV. So you can run. You're calling me a racist. Okay, so you're. I did not call you a racist. You're you're using the typical leftist tactic of trying to make yourself a victim. Here's what I want to say. Which is not the word I was No, no, but we're actually we're actually well beyond that. Well, she's making herself a victim and pretending that I came here and called her a racist. So this is a typical leftist tactic. Hey man, another one. Another one gets smoked. Another liberal getting smoked out here. Cause they all get smoked all the time. Listen, man. Liberals are wolves in sheep clothing. I keep telling y'all this. They pretend like they black people's friend, especially the white liberals. They're not. They keep you. You know what? I'm gonna say it. They keep you niggas victims. Period. They do. They still got y'all on a leash. They do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. White liberals think they got a pass to do anything and say anything to black people, especially when they on the left. If they on the right, white liberals could talk all types of shit to black people. They can say anything because they feel as though they put in the work like black people. They put you niggas here. They got you niggas where y'all needed to be. Give me your damn vote. That's all they care about. So when you see white liberals like, like crystal ball, like her saying the stuff that she's saying, you got to understand she already got in her mind that black people are victims. Can't when Candace Owens said that she's bringing black conservatives to the white house, First thing she said was, does it bother you that there's no prominent black people going? So mm -hmm. let me get this right. So Candace is not prominent. Her, her, her bringing young black conservatives to the White House, that's not prominent. I don't understand this. But again, this is the type of rhetoric that that liberals do especially white liberals. They always got this thing where they feel as though that black people are the victim. They always trying to tell black people how to be black. You notice in this whole interview, this whole exchange between the two, to me, it seemed like Crystal was trying to tell Candace how to be black. This is how it is. Like, what? So I'm glad that Candace put her in her place because she needed to be put in her place and she couldn't get over it. And then she's going to bring up some old tweet and going to say, oh, well, um, you're calling me a racist. She never said you. But if you if, but if you this is how you know that she is 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 I ain't going to say racist. But this is how you know that she white liberals believe they can say anything to black people. She literally said. Uh, uh, the the um the Democratic Party is comprised of uh, of racists, right, or something like that to that effect. And she said, "Oh, so you calling me a racist?" Instead of her saying, "Well, I'm a, I'm a part of the Democratic Party and I'm not a racist," but she's a the thing is, she is, uh uh the she's a she's a, a TV host or whatever you want to call it um a moderator. How are you how are you taking sides? You're supposed to be neutral. You're supposed to be like, well, I recognize that there's two parties, but but you got offended because you know what you're saying does have some racial undertones. And she called you out on it. And now you look stupid. So all I'm saying is I don't care too much about white liberals. I don't care too much about black liberals either. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to disrespect nobody and, and, and say they could jump off a cliff. I don't care about that. But I am going to say that I do um, I do respect people as being humans. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way it is. But but yeah, Candace almost smoked her. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, round one, fight! <laughs> Yo, they, hey, listen, man. Um, that woman was trying to bait her into a brawl the whole from the opening question she was throwing shots at Candace from the opening question 
I'm like, so this is what this is going to be? Like the whole entire time? This is what she going to do? She baited Candace so much. I commend Candace Owens for keeping her poise because I definitely thought that Candace was going to get up and you was going to see the black come out of Candace Owens and slap her. I swore that's what she was doing, especially that last part. Oh, my God. I thought she was getting ready to get up and slap her. And I commend her for keeping her poise and not doing such because that would have been a headline for a very, very long time. Anytime Candace Owens would have tried to go speak at somewhere or represent something, they'd have been like, oh, yeah. Well, you remember when you slapped that lady a few years back? Like, it would have been rough. So mm -hmm. I commend her for keeping her poised because that was, whew, man. That was tough. That was tough to have somebody keep throwing shots at you like that. And and these type of verbal shots were piercing. They were piercing shots. Maybe not for some people that don't follow this type of stuff, but for somebody that follows this and is in the public eye 24-7 and, and is trying to be a perfect representation of the black community, <sighs> man listen <laughs> salute to you candace i hope one day we can have you on the show and we can talk about this because mm -hmm. whoo oh my god man that was rough yeah we're gonna do rough. candace owens week one day just all the stuff yeah, she we... talked about just yeah every day we're gonna just do nothing but candace owens candace owens week <laughs> mm -hmm. hey man look we out of here sketch pad you know what it is you peace bye